Okay, good morning everyone and welcome to another blow down episode. Okay, so in this episode we're going to go to again tomorrow. So um, I'm starting my episode, actually where I start most of my episodes is with, except for from going spear fishing, then I won't start it here, but I'm starting my episode today here at Extreme Fishing. And as you can see, fully, fully, fully stocked with everything you need. Um, oh, there's only one of these little pumps left that I use for my life bait. Um, drop shot, fresh water, all the hooks that you can dream of, um, all the leader lines, the Maxima Greens that I'm always talking about, you can find them here. Knives, rods, reels, deep sea rods. I'll show you now all the reels. Uh, rock and surf. Um, oh, all your Apollos, your floats, everything that you need. There's Kobe, Kobe. he's um, always helping and he's a lovely lady that's going to take my money again today. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, I'm going to be fishing today with, for tomorrow, I'm going to be fishing with 10 O's, 10 O's, 10 O's. We're going for big, big cop. We're going for that octopus circle 10 O's. Uh, last time we used the uh, landits. I used the landits when I'm catching grunters and smaller fish. Last time we used the landit circles at Chodes and we broke five of them. Uh, we did pull them pretty hard with a gate piece. So it's not only the hook's fault, uh, but, but I'm looking for something that I can really, really get into those copies. Really pull them. Um, you're going to be needing these. So uh, for the most bunkers, I prefer the ones with a little less hooks and they don't get stuck in everything. So I'm going to take two, I still have a couple of them, so I'm going to take two of them. That's the ones I'm going to be needing for the most bunkers. Then because I'm fishing with those KPs, I have a lot of power. So I can use the 10 ounce sinkers, 9 or 10 ounce sinkers if I've got. But as you can see, loads and loads of sinkers everywhere. So I'm going to get a couple of sinkers and then Another tip that I want to show you. Just um, so a couple more. Yes. Okay. So I've got five kilogram pill shots, and I've got one kilogram pill shot. I'm not going to use the ones that's individually wrapped. These, these ones are individually wrapped. I'm not going to use them. I'm going to take the one kilogram boxes because if you don't use the whole box, then you can keep it in your safari chiller. The safari chillers are really, really amazing. They keep your bait fresh. So I'm going to be probably take six or seven of these baits. Um, yeah, they are beautiful bait. The way that you actually check your pulchets, turn them around, then you can check that they are very nice pulchets. If you turn the pulchets around, they always look very beautiful from the top. If you turn them around, you can see if there's any juices lying on the bottom, but these ones are perfect. Um, but your hunt bait is always very, very nice. Uh, so, you're gonna uh, take probably six packs of that. And another thing is, they say that this is a one kilogram, but if you weigh them, they're actually 1.2 kilograms. So if you take six of them, you've got more than five kilograms. Normally, they're all a little bit more than, than one kilogram, these ones. Um, I'll show you now when I get to the top. And then I'm just, in case, I'll take two chocolate chips with. Just, if they are a little bit shy to bite, so I'm gonna take two chocolates. And let's take six kilograms of bullshit and that should be more than enough okay so i'm gonna oh thank you there's the assistance okay so i'm gonna take three four six okay six kilograms of bullshit two chokas so big is for the most bunkers and then hopefully we're fine <laughs> Good morning everyone and we are finally doing our Chorets Cop episode. Okay, so on the boat today, we've got Jock. Hello. I'll tell you a little bit later about Camel Chameleon and then my dad. Uh, we've seen him in a couple of episodes and then my uncle, the one fresh, the episode that we did of um, Vitsan that we caught 12 cop. He's coming through from Vitsan, he's not here yet but we're quickly going to launch the boat. We are here at Chorets guys. Um, what a beautiful morning. The cop has been coming out and we've got some secret bait that the other boats don't have. Uh, went, uh, yeah, we have a couple of secrets. Uh, huh? There's a secret. Yeah. We, we have to have um, special bait. Separate us from the rest. And um, yeah, we're going to launch with the mouth now. So in this episode, uh, we're going to be doing live bait. We're going to get the uh, first couple of hours. We're just going to concentrate on getting more spunker. Then um, Swayze is on the water, Pole is on the water, 
potty is coming through. I don't see potty's trailer here yet. Um, no, potty is. Oh no, no, potty is in already. There is potty's trailer. So the pot shot is in already. Um, yeah. So 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 um, yeah. My uncle is on the way. My dad's talking to him quickly. And uh, yeah, we're gonna launch now. We're gonna get the boat in and uh, get everything ready. So hopefully I can show you a perfect launch. This well is supposed to be small. And um, then I can show you some of those big cops. If you haven't seen that big cop episode, episode it was a uh, one year ago that we that we did that um, cop episode. Okay, let's track our life jackets on. Hey, like So that's a little moss bunker right there. We're looking for loads of them. Not just one or two. And uh, yeah, then we'll start fishing. What's up, Kemp, man? <laughs> Kemp, pick it up. Sure. Kemp, oh, yes, I must stand further back to get the fish in the shot. I'll take on both sides. Okay, one this side. <clears throat> Here we go. We're gonna see if we can put this one back. <laughs> Okay, so there's another boat launching. I don't know if he's launching the bucky or the boat now. So, yeah, oh, that's, 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 that's weird for me. Okay. Let's see if we launch new back in. See, we've made some good progress on the moss bunkers. There's a can full, there's a can full, and there's another bucket. There's three buckets. We're making, uh, we're getting some. The trick with Khaurits is you need these live bait because if the fish starts biting, they only start biting a little bit later. So then uh, everybody wants to fish in the morning, and then you don't have live bait in the afternoon when the fish is actually on the bite. So that's why I, I'll rather spend some more time. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, get them in the boat. Yes, it blown. Beautiful moss bunker. So I'll rather spend a little bit oh, fast. I'll rather spend a little bit more time catching the moss bunkers. And uh, later on I know I've got enough live bait to catch the cop. Okay, so we fast here, everybody's fast with moss bunkers. Uh, we drifted into a school here now. I've got another two. There we go. So this is looking very promising yep. on the bait front. Ah, oh, there we go. Keep these guys alive. And you can see, and then all I do is I've got two live bait buckets here. And then all that I do is I give them fresh water. Like every five minutes or so, I just give them some fresh, some fresh water. And then because it's a wet deck, the water just overflows. Yeah, and that's how we uh, that's how we do life right there. You can see all the little mass bunkers. The camel chameleon not feeling too well. <laughs> okay, finally seems that we've got something on you. After a very long wait, we finally got something on. Um, it is on a live moss bunker, so it should be a cobby. Um, I hope it's a cobby. I see some head shakes there. Hopefully, I can show you a cob now. Uh, my dad's on with it. Let's see what it brings up.
Phew. I'll see now if I have to use the gaff. Full is that a swat, bro? Okay, here we go. Ah, oh. what is it? Pajama. Bring them to me. The pajama. The way that you that was bunker. Hey, it's a shot. They take the mass bunker and we're using a 10 hour circle look. Hey, just behind it. Mm. Very lively. Just behind the head. Make sure you get enough flesh, but not too much flesh. Okay, and there you go. It's a mass bunker as a live bait. Nice heavy sinker because uh, I want got a lot of rods in the water. Come on, on with the bottom. Okay, guys. So unfortunately, no cop for today, but uh, we are gonna go out now, um, and then. I'll tell you about the camera chameleon. We're gonna do a catch cook of one of those cop that I caught earlier. So we're gonna do a catch cook on that one um, to show you what you actually can do with your cop if you manage to catch cop, not like us. <laughs> not managing to catch cop today. Okay, so we're gonna exit now and uh, then probably tomorrow we'll do the rest of the episode. Okay guys, so yesterday we went out fishing at Gharic or must I rather say we, we went out but not fishing at Gharic yesterday. Looks a kind of a dodgy with a knife here but we're gonna, um, yeah, so we're gonna continue the episode. I told you about Camel Chameleon. So he's gonna prepare some food for us. John's gonna prepare some cop on the pan for us. So I did bring along one of the cop, the cop that I caught in uh, nice time when we were fishing there with Francho. It's a pretty nice size cop. And we're gonna fill it it now. Here's a copy lying there on the ground. But um, yeah, we're here in Lintana. Absolutely beautiful morning. There's dolphins right about there. Still dodgy with the knives, but mm, I can see them. There's dolphins in the water over there somewhere. I just yeah. saw them there. But there they go. Okay, so there's dolphins in the water, and um, it's an absolutely beautiful day. I'm gonna go spearfishing later this afternoon with Potty. We're gonna dive in at Harold's Bay at Full Clip. Some of you know Full Clip. It's where all the people drive down the cliff um, very unfortunate spot but there is good fish there so this afternoon's episode we might do um, Bonnie sashimi there on the on the rocks Jock's gonna go with okay so we're quickly gonna fill it that cobby I'll show you that cobby thanks Jock I'm gonna show you that cobby uh, there is the cobby that we caught in Isna and uh, we're quickly gonna fill it that cobby and then we're gonna do uh, yeah I'm gonna take the skin off the cobby as well and then um, we're gonna we're gonna do that in a pan and then I'm gonna give the camera to Jock then and he'll take over and he can tell you all about Camel Chameleon what Camel Chameleon is all about and what he's gonna do with the fish no there's no so guys I'm trying to take the skin off um, I haven't done this in a while doing a skin like this I normally just take the fillets off and then I cut the skin out but I decided I'm gonna do it like this today I really haven't done this 
taken a long, long time taking the skin off, so I decided oh. I'll quickly try and show you if I can still do it like this. You need a really sharp knife to do this, which we sort of have. <laughs> it's not a really sharp knife. Let's go with this is a sharp knife. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't like skin on my fish. If I braid, I do it with the uh, scabs on. Uh, and then I take it out of the skin and then any other way I take the skin off. Okay, let's see if I still have the magic touch to take that skin off. Okay, start here right at the top. No way. Nice. You just take that yes. skin off. Okay, so apparently I can still <laughs> take a skin off a fish. Diesel and dust. True brew light lager. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be having with our um, cob, pan fried cob. We're gonna have diesel and dust. So this is the light lager. Uh, our craft beer or the true brew are hardcore beers embrace of philosophy of hard work, genuine friendship, honesty, and with it on and crafted from the finest selection of malls and hops close with love and guts. Guts. <laughs> the rich aromas offers a perfect thirst quencher with reward and celebration of the die hard glory of the diesel and dust true brew. Okay, 3.8%. You know what a, a Costa Light is? Uh, I think it's full. Four point two something. Okay, so it's lighter, and then it is also in carbs. Much lighter. Yes. Much lighter in carbs as well. Okay, and quite so good in taste. Very we're gonna taste it now. We're gonna do the tong tapi toots. Yes. For, for those for those of you who don't know what the tong tapi toots is, you're probably from Australia. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tongue tipping mm. test. So you you tip it on the tongue. Nice. Yo. Mm. It's nothing like a uh, craft beer, eh? Yeah, it's it's. I'm not a big craft beer drinker, actually. But no, but this, this is anyone can enjoy. Mm, it is actually like, uh, uh, yeah, it's not. It doesn't taste like a normal lager. It, it, I I know craft lagers, but uh, this is this is something special, guys. Diesel and dust. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Mm. That's beautiful. Goes well with fish, steak, chips. Cookies, sunshine. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Where, where can we find it? Uh, nearer shops close by, I think. Um, do not know, but I found it in the owner's house. And yeah, we're actually staying in the owner's house, so thank you very much. The beer goes down well. And we're also going to try a wine of his that's actually locally produced up in the Longcliffe. But we'll show you that while we're going to cook and then um, some nice Sauvignon Blanc. Diesel and dust. <laughs> I trust the diesel and dust. <laughs> Put your trust in Put diesel your and trust dust. in diesel and dust. <laughs> <laughs> That's, it's, I must change it. Put your trust in diesel and dust, not true blue. <laughs> there, right there at the top. I'll, I'll, I'll take the beer for that, that ad advice. Put your trust in diesel and dust, true blue. <laughs> Uh, he's right behind the cameras. Yeah, we're enjoying a very nice diesel and dust beer. Found this in uh, the owner's trust house. In diesel and dust. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, for, 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 for my subscribers, um, when is your channel going to be up? I think in about a month's time, uh, or, or less, or about two weeks. Okay. I'll put up three episodes. Okay, he's going to put up three episodes in two weeks' time. Camo Chameleon. Okay, I'll put a link in my next videos once the video up is up. Um, we'll put a video in there, but uh, yeah, there's going to be some collaborations, some more yeah. amazing dishes and stuff like that. Thanks, okay, I'm going to leave you camel chameleon now. Because <laughs> there's a lot of chameleon under the camera. So, we've been out on the ocean, out to Khoritzvont, you saw that footage. And for the past two, three days, the water's just been absolutely dead. So, uh, I'm doing a classic fish and chips. A little bit more healthier, nothing beer battered or anything like that. So what I've done is I have done baby potatoes, cut them in half, and I'm boiling them in some nice chicken stock. Uh, always, uh, you know, you can... I like to do that, to cook in chicken stock. Anything potato-y that takes on the flavor. It's just 
that much better. Man, it's so humid here today and unbelievably hot. So, excuse if I take a sip of this every now and then. So I've got my potatoes on there. You can leave that to go. I'm not just going to parboil them. I'm going to completely uh, like you would do mashed potatoes. So it takes off all that flavor. With the green beans, just a little bit sauteed with garlic and butter. So we've got some garlic. I'm just going to use one clove just to add those flavors. Get all those oils released. You don't have to finely chop them, you can just peel them and crush them like that. They've already released their oil, so there's more than enough flavor in there. Otherwise, if you use too much, small, fine pieces, it can be a little bit overpowering. So, we're just going to keep that there. Some olive oil. Nice dollop of butter. And I'll put that in afterwards. First, I'm going to fry off the beans a bit, get them colored, salt and pepper, otherwise the butter can burn in the pan. Toss and saute. I'll show you a little say. Just toss and saute. Do you know what I mean? And then your fresh pieces of garlic in there too. Which will then take up all the flavours of the butter and the garlic and the beans etc. So it's not the most complete healthy dish but at least you've got your greens in and not everything is fried. <laughs> Eat your greens. Okay and over here we've got that uh, Potatoes boiling in the chicken stock. Lovely. Lovely. And then uh, the back we've got the view. And don't forget that we put our trust in diesel and dust. We guessed it. <laughs> in diesel and dust. <laughs> uh, okay guys. Um, yeah. Let me know in the comment section. If you want more videos like this with uh, some tips on how to, what to do with your fish. Um, I haven't done a lot of catch and cook videos because you guys don't watch the catch and cook videos. The catch and cook does videos does not do as well as the crazy spearfishing videos. So if you want to see more catch and cook videos or if you want to see more spearfishing videos or fishing videos, let me know in the comment section what videos do you like. Um, I know that the Australian guys have been um, after the video that me and Potty went out crazy video that we swam out 500 meters offshore in, in Mosel Bay Point. Uh, apparently there's a couple of Australian guys watching um, the Australian spear fishing, spear fishermen as, as, uh, start to watch the channel now. So, the Australians, would you like some more South African traditional dishes with fish? Some nice fish and chips, some burra dishes. <laughs> what do you want, the Aussies? <laughs> let, us, let us know in the comment section what do you want more. And I know some people have been, off, uh, have been asking for Afrikaans episodes. I will do Afrikaans episodes, but unfortunately there's a lot of international guys that's watching uh, UK, uh, New Zealand, Australia. There's a lot of guys watching the episodes now and um, yeah, if I do it, probably not going to understand what I'm saying because they say we just grr and rrr. So um, yeah, unfortunately, but I will do, I promise I will do Afrikaans episode. Uh, soon I will do one Afrikaans episode again and most of the South Africans did enjoy the Afrikaans episode Okay, so he's taken off, Jock's taken off That looks absolutely delicious yep. And uh, this the one is in there now. You can steaming up, Woo, look at that okay. and Now he's preparing that cob fillet for us over there um, Yeah, the skin cob I hope you enjoyed how I took that skin off It's a little trick that Wimkova showed me long, many years ago and I haven't used that um, but the skin actually comes off very easily. You know that normally I just cut the skin out, uh, put it flat on with a nice fillet knife and I just cut it out of the skin. But I decided to pull the skin off today. Um, yeah, it actually works a little bit better. I might start doing that again, just pulling the skin off. Okay, so there's a beautiful piece of fillet. Um, so you can see a nice chunk of mm. cob fillet. Nice enough mm. cob. If you haven't seen that episode, go check out the episode that we called the cob. That cop was caught on a live bait. On that same night, we caught a nice grunter on chocobait. 
Uh, I did both presentations and everything in there. Okay, so now let me check here. What's, what's going little, on here? What's going on here? A normal little fish rub. Fish rub. Yes. It looks like a Woolworths. Yes. Woolies. Woolies fish rub. Fish rub. Rub it up, dub. Thanks for the grub. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to form a very nice crust on the cobby. Oh, look at these fillets, huh? I'm just scared. Who's going to watch and who's going to eat now? No, you're going to eat. Are you, aren't you going to eat? I'm going to just, it's just a tasting. Okay. The others we will bry late. Yeah, there's got a lot of cob left. That was around about, a, let's say, a five, six kilogram cob. Beautiful little cob that we caught there. But we actually are looking for the big cob. Yes, I feel like I'm always saying I'm looking for the big cob, but I can't catch one. But I went with Vitsan. No, we caught 12, 13 cobs in two days. The first day we caught one, and the next day we caught 12 cobbies. So it was a successful trip, but still not that 30, 40 kilogram cob that I'm looking for. So, um, but I will get that one this year. I promise you I will get to that one this year. Okay, so there's nice. Um, yo, oh, it looks beautiful. Fish wrap, what is fish wrap? You've got your green beans. Yes. Here yeah, we've got the potatoes boiling away and, and uh, chicken stock. What I'm going to do is this nicely flavored garlic butter that's in the beans. Okay. Just going to do this quickly. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Because that's already flavored. Okay, so that's uh, the, the butter from the beans. With garlic. Garlic, garlic and butter. And that cob's going to go into that pan. Season guys, oh, yeah, oh. forget the season. Salt and pepper on the green beans. <laughs> okay. Okay. Coffee's going in. Listen to me talk. That coffee wants to talk to us. That is actually a very big fella. There will be more than enough for both of us. That's what she said. I was, I was only joking. I was only joking when I said he was going to look and he was going to eat. That's a, that is a pan filler. That's a, that's a pan filler right there. Nice piece of tail filler. That's like a pancake now. Time to turn around. I want to see that. from oh, you. Look at the color. Look at the color on mm -hmm. that thing. Oh. Caramelized with that rub. Mm. <laughs> and then, of course, we are going to deglaze with the goose wines. Deglaze. It's big Local. words. Yeah, it's Local. What, what is deglaze? Deglaze means all the sticky bits on the bottom. Some white wine, and we're going to create a little bit of a sauce, a butter garlic sauce. And after the potatoes, everything will go on there. So. Deglaze, it's like a, a, a decant. What does decant mean? No, uh, decant means you open up the wine. That's yes, yes. My, my wife, I, I once phoned my wife and asked her, she said I must um, take something out of the, the fridge and, and read the instructions. And it said decant. So I phoned and said, what does decant mean? She says, just open it and pour it out. It's like, then why didn't they say that? Why did they say decant? <laughs> it's like the infamous. What does infamous mean? Is it famous or not? It's like lieutenant. There's no F in lieutenant. Where does the F come from? It says English words. Decant and what did you say now? Deglaze. Deglaze. De 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 it's all French. It's uh, deglaze. Werk nie for me. <laughs> you understand? It's like all these weird words in English. You, why don't they just make it simple like Afrikaans? Okay, so while that's going, it's a pretty picked up fish, so I'm just going to put a, a lid on top and let that go. And I'm going to take it off the heat, so it's going to rest and steam in its own juices. So now, dumping that uh, potatoes that was in the chicken stock into some oils to make it nice and crispy. Ne, next. next. That means in Afrikaans, just like that. Like folks your uncle. And Sally's your aunt. <laughs> okay, so check this. And you can see they've broken up. They are fully cooked. Okay? Soft, so they are just going to take up 
and fry on the outside. And we're going to check them every now and then, make sure that they do not burn. Okay, so yeah, there is your greens, and potatoes, the fish, and then some lady lady touch. There's a mm -hmm. little bit of a lady lady touch there. Like Jamie, but, but he just throws it everywhere, <laughs> everywhere. Nigella pulls it on herself. <laughs> can't do this. I can't do this. The healthy stuff. Maybe I must start the new salt bay, but it's called the swan. Mm. It's not salt bay because it's a swan. And you can only pull that way. The swan can turn, so you seize him all over. <laughs> The goose Sauvignon Blanc. There she goes. Okay. So remember what I said. Let this just heat up a bit. Still the garlic and the leftover juices from the cabal yo, which looks and smells absolutely Ooh. phenomenal. So all I'm going to do now is add a little bit of white wine so we can reduce that. You can see the pan's eating up there. A nice good glove of white wine. And let that reduce. Look at that. Yeah, so these are the potatoes that were that came out. And then always season from a high. Right? Give it a little tossy toss. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Tong the pitut. Two second rule. That was fast. Mmm. A good pot, but really, really good. Crispy outside, fluffy inside, eh? Wow. Now it's reducing. Mm -hmm. It's reducing. Which also means all the acidity is cooking out of the wine because if you add any cream or milk too early, it'll split. So just cook out the alcohol a bit. Butter goes in. Let that just go. Thai ice goes in first. Nice and salty. Sora the Sun Show, Michel Kobe. Your beans can just go on the side, right there. <laughs> and now, the piastro resistance. Would you look at that? Mm, mm, mm. And now you've also got a little bit of a gravy for your potatoes at the bottom. And uh, yeah, you can actually pour all of it over. Should we? Yes. Let's do it. Okay. Kobe with some oh. nice baby new crispy potatoes, some green beans, and a reduction of butter white wine. <laughs> so, Yummy. that is a mouthful. Okay. Yandre, you, uh, let me get a fork here. Okay. Where should I start in this whole story? Just where you want to. Okay, let's start with a cobby. Ooh, I'm gonna get some of that juicy sauce at the bottom there. Mm, it tastes good. Mm. That's what you have to say. I'm gonna take a big chunk here. Mmm. <laughs> Let me try it too. You can, you can taste the cob. You can still taste the cob. And that's what I like about it. The fact that you can definitely taste that it's cob. The cob has got a distinctive taste to it. So, you can still taste that it's cob. Mm. But, you can taste that butter and the white, white wine and everything. So, send it over to a little potato there. Oh, wow. Okay. Mmm. 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 -hmm. And that garlic has gone sweet. Look at those yeah. big pieces of garlic. The sauce mm. on the potato is, is really done 
Good job there. Mm. Okay, guys, I'm gonna get stuck in here. That's on these potatoes. These crisp potatoes are amazing. If you put that in that sauce. Mm. I think I'll leave you too. It's good to learn from. <laughs> And then uh, obviously I've tasted these green beans. But now with that sauce that he poured over, it just makes it, takes it to the... I have a bit of a salty palate, so mm, I can always yeah, put yeah, a little bit of more it. salt yeah. because you can't put too much salt because mm. people... These days don't put a lot of salt anymore. Oh, that's good. And now we're going to eat it again, it's going to be a little bit of And the potatoes. Mm. Look at that, cop. Beautiful, and then that butter, white wine. Mm. Absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I'm gonna continue chowing down on this. That is absolutely amazing. If you want more episodes like this, uh, let me know in the comment. If you want uh, more collaborations with the Camel Chameleon. When we'll set up some more collaborations and you want to see more dishes, simple and easy dishes. I mean, anybody can cook that. Not difficult to do that. Oh! And then I uh, hope to see you this afternoon. Uh, I'm going to shoot a bonnie so that the camo chameleon can do something with a bonnie for us there, right there on the rocks. You so think it's where they get the song from? My bonnie gets shot in the ocean, my bonnie gets shot in the sea. <laughs> Is it? Okay. See you guys later this afternoon. <laughs>